Greetings, Tyson of the Northwest here, and today I'm showing you my first medium plot on Ravend. So coming through the entrance here, I've tried to give the impression of you're emerging from a ruined temple. Uh, stairs that are once that were once shiny are now beaten and tarnished. The roof's kind of collapsed and it's starting to let in sand and co collapsed cobblestone there. As you come up, you're surrounded by obelisks that are worn away and crumbling into ruin. Um, over here, I went with the um, a ruined house here. The found you can kind of see that what's left of the foundation as it's starting to fall away into this ravine as it cuts it as it's been undermined as the ravines expanded. Same over here, bits of the foundation are starting to succumb to the ravine. Uh, down here, I have included what's left of a basement, some supplies that have long gone to dust or mushrooms or <laughs> mold. Um, yeah, so a little hidden surprise there left over from the before time. I was really trying to go with kind of a desertification that this used to be part of a major settlement, maybe a fertile plain, but you know, desert overuse and drought has slowly turned it into desert. Here we've got a take on the desert well uh, that kind of that I've kind of modified for my purposes, but I really like it. It's good. I think it really kind of accentuates the character, takes the basic structure of the desert well and just slightly accentuates it. Over here we've got what's the encroachment of the steppe over here where it's not quite desert desertified or the encroachment of the desert on the steppe. Uh, here we've got a felled acacia tree that is crossing a small ravine probably more formed recently by a tributary and then here on the steppe side of things we have a take on the steppe camp. Uh, this one's much a little bit smaller and because of that I went with a tent pole for the central support and then a furnace instead of a whole big fire pit. Uh, a little bit more of a modern setup with the beaten metal uh, stove pipe there. But again with the recessed bedrolls there, baskets, supplies, and I really do like the paintings as doors. Again more takes on the acacia trees as well as a place to tie up your horses or other mounts slash pack animals. And then we're going to head into the ravine here. I really kind of tried to give the impression that this used to be a th river that is slowly worn away and then eventually dried up after it had done its wearing away of this area. Um, I also tried to differentiate the sand, uh, the orange sand more coming on places where the steppe is still there and you kind of have that fertile topsoil it kind of dissolving into this orange sand. Here's that small tributary that's joining it. Whereas everywhere else I went with the uh, yellow sand more of a, you know, yeah, to kind of indicate that that wasn't fertile ground before it succumbed <laughs> to the wind and weather. Uh, so here's the end of the, the widest part of the uh, river ravine here with a couple of puddles left over. All that's left since the dry season. And then why people are still here, we've got a mine, a little gold mine in here. I tried to keep the different sedentary layers separate, so you've got this darker red, this lighter yellow, and then this gray layer and then you've got the gold kind of in between the layers as much as possible. If I did this over again, I'd probably change up my color pattern so that the gold is more sandwiched between two layers that are closer to color to its color than I did with the the red and the brown here. But thoughts for a different build. We've got a crane lifting stuff up there. We're going to kind of go up this I tried to make this very kind of ramshackle that they kind of threw it together out of necessity. And then at the top here we've got a crane, uh, the ropes all tied there, a mechanism there for twisting that to gather it. 
If I do more with this plot, I may rebuild this crane at least somewhat. I really wanted to imply that there's a lot of strain on it, and hence why it's all very spread out, but also I wanted it wide enough here so you could walk to the edge and conceivably grab whatever's being lifted. But that would probably be something for another time. I'd probably have to rebuild that. Some supplies, stuff ready to be packaged and gone. And then another ruin here, but this one's more intact, and it looks like they've been patching it up and whatnot to make a temporary housing for the miners. Just a little place to kind of call home while they're working. Probably wouldn't see more than a half dozen, you know, four two to five people living and or working here, sleeping in shifts, working down in the mine there. And then here we've got tracks that kind of head off into the distance. <coughs> All right. Um, when I was designing this, I really tried to break it up as much as I can. That was part of the reason why so much of this is dominated by the ravine here is a lot of desert plots are just very monotonous, uh, they're one color for the whole thing, just that sand, so I really broke that up, and I really did like the step camp, and that was actually kind of the, the idea, the, the, the initiating idea for this was the, you know, the border of the step and the desert, um, so, and I really do like the yurt design, um, and then here again I tried to indicate the slow desertification of the fertile lands, with the red sand here kind of showing that as the red sand takes over, more and more dirt plots uh, become, you know, less fecund <laughs> or less fertile. Um, but yeah, I and so you do get a nice mix of coloration and a good scattering of stuff. Nothing's really dominant in this plot, which I really do like. Um, the val the, the the ravine's a little bit there, but you know, it, it it is the kind of the central feature. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you uh find these designs interesting. Uh please comment below on any suggestions you have for this. Um either altering this plot or anything with my builds, honestly. I'd love to hear your feedback on this, and I will be talking to you later. Bye.